The following program is brought to you in living color. Kennedy died at one p.m. And now we're pleased to bring our feature presentation. Every day, our senses are being constantly bombarded by subliminal messages that are found in TV, movies, and advertisements. The subliminal messages we are subjected to are unrecognizable by the conscious mind and only recognizable in our subconscious mind. The messages and imagery are passively absorbed and then stored in our subconscious where propagandists deliberately implant artificial thoughts, which in turn can affect our actions and attitudes later in life. Experiments have shown that less than one minute after the viewer begins to watch television, the brain switches from beta level consciousness associated with active and logical thought to alpha level, which is associated with passive acceptance and suggestibility. This is why advertisers spend billions of dollars a year on commercials as well as product placement within TV shows. Political messages are implanted in fictional TV programs as the relaxed meditative state of the viewer is receptive to the programming. One example is AMC's Breaking Bad television series as it depicts a meth villain as a Ron Paul supporter. I, I, I looked him up. It's uh, it was one of these physicists, one of Hitler's guys, a physicist named Werner Heisenberg. <laughs> Real cute, huh? In a basic college-level marketing class, in, in, in your first year of radio, television, and film, at least for me, and, and then I've seen some other textbooks and curriculum and found it's also in those, but, but, but most RTF schooling, teaches you that they have had subliminals uh, for at least 70 years in the United States and Europe. And so, yes, there is subliminal messaging everywhere. It, it is all over the place. It's an absolute fact that they flicker it at a rate and that they have the televisions designed for that rate to bring you into a dreamlike state. I mean, it is a fact that within minutes you go into a dream brainwave when watching television. Go read a book by the father of modern advertising, Edward Bernays, where he calls you a dumb slave and admits they run your whole life. I've read both his major books. One of them's called Propaganda. Edward Bernays. The conscious and intelligent manipulation of the organized habits and opinions of the masses is an important element in democratic society. Those who manipulate this unseen mechanism of society constitute an invisible government which is the true ruling power of our country. We are governed, our minds are molded, our tastes are formed, our ideas suggested, largely by men we've never heard of. This is a logical result of the way in which our democratic society is organized. 